G'day, welcome back. Today it's the second part of olives from tree to jar. So in this section, what we're going to have a look at is my soaked olives are going to be drained for the last time. We're going to prepare some jars uh, to sterilize those, to get them ready to receive the olives. And we're going to make a simple brine to actually store them for the longer term. Now, there will be a third video coming on later on where we'll talk about a few of the marinades and things like that that perhaps you can use, prepare your olives with and use them for longer term. Today though, it's just about how you store them in a salty brine to get them ready to eat later on. You don't necessarily have to marinate them later, but some people like to enjoy that. So if you wanna go back and have a look at the first video um, that is the preparation for soaking and harvesting of the olives, uh, there'll be a link up here somewhere over my shoulder so you can have a look at that. But let's get on with it. Let's strain the olives for the last time um, and start preparing what we need to do. One of the steps we've got to do is actually sterilize our jars. Now the best thing you can do is just make sure you've got some clean, we use previously loved jars, and you chuck them into an oven tray and put them into a preheated oven. If you put your oven on about 150 degrees centigrade, and we'll put the Fahrenheit down there for you for those people who use that, basically it'll take about 20 minutes for them to sterilize properly. Making our marinades really straightforward. All you need is a third of a cup of salt, a litre of water and a pot to mix it all in and warm it through. The amount of solution you make is proportionate to how many olives you have. Now we're not doing too many today, so a third of a cup of salt and a litre of water will be more than enough for what we need. Okay, let's drain the olives. Now you can still see there's a little bit of residual colour was in that water, but let's have a look at our olives themselves. All right, looking perfect and ready for the jar. All right, first step, let's get some olives into the jars. So really pack your olives down tight. The more um, compacted they are in the jar, the less chance you're going to have of air getting in and around them and around the brine, because you really want to make sure they're nicely covered. So we'll get the brine on these. So here we've incorporated the salt and the water, and we're just going to heat that up on the stove until the salt completely incorporates into the water to make a, a suspended brine. And that is what we're going to add to our packed olives in our jars. Our brine's done. Now I'm just gonna use a basic funnel to get this in here for now. Just a ladle. You'd be surprised how little brine you actually are going to need if your olives are packed in nice and tight. Okay, so I've still got half the brine that I started with. So as you can see, you're gonna get quite a lot made. Now the next thing you wanna do is make sure that you seal your jars up while the brine is still hot. That will help them seal. So you're gonna get a much nicer batch of olives later on. There you go. What have I got here? seven jars of olives ready for next season for the table you can let these sit for as long as you like i've opened these two weeks after they've been brined but i honestly think that you probably should leave them a couple of months at least to build a little bit of that brine flavor um, make sure the last of the tannins have come into the brine um, and leached out of the fruit but 
I think if you start with some good fruit, you harvest it, you prepare it properly, you soak it to your tastes, anywhere from seven, 10, 14 days, some people even up to 20. Um, I don't know if I do it that long, I think your fruit gets a bit too soft, but that's completely up to you. And look what you end up with, fruit for your table. All right, thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next one. Enjoy your olives, eh?